Hi everyone. If you know me, you've probably noticed that I sometimes have this in my pocket. It's called money. And I use it in a lot of different ways, but the main thing I like to use it for is to buy things. Such as marshmallow fluff and Bitcoin. Money is something we simply can't afford to live without, but making it is hard. And for artists, it's especially inefficient. I'm sorry, inefficient. You see, right now it's just a bad system. The artist makes some art, tries to find a buyer, I'm Bill Gates. and then sells the art in exchange for money. Or a client commissions an artist to make a piece of art in exchange for, you guessed it, I'm Bob Ross. money. But here's the thing, there's an easier way. So today, I'm going to be testing out a new model. A simple, efficient, fun, and lame, I mean, cool model. Rather than making art to make money, I'll be making art and money at the same time. Cause today, I'll be making my own money. I hope you enjoyed that intro because it took me a super long time. As they say, you gotta spend money to make money. I'll be going over to Jerry's Artorama to pick up some supplies. Then I'll be getting rich. Now for anyone doing the mental math at home, what you'll quickly realize is that my supplies cost more than the $20 bill I'm about to make. But that's okay, because while I will be losing 21 cents overall, I will be gaining valuable experience, so that next time I can make more and get really rich. And by the way, if you're liking this music, I highly recommend checking out Charlie Pike on Spotify. And with my $20 bill finally complete, there is only one thing left to do. Mint the currency.
And finally, it was time to go out and test how well my new model really works. Uh, sorry, we can't accept this. It's obviously fake. No, it's real. I made it myself. Sorry.